Everyone, so again, man. Welcome to Metro Exodus. Finally got this game. Here we go. So I also did a Metro Last Light gameplay series, but it was quite a while ago. Probably one of the first walkthroughs in my channel. But here we go. After a few years, we're back with another Metro game. Here we go. We build gigantic cities of glass and steel. We cross the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air. And I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. Evil doggies. Oh, we're but gonna see that. I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Oh, are we going to fail? We're flying! Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. Metro Exodus. Here we go. Going under the ground. Ah! 
What the hell is going on here? I think we can increase it a little more, like, uh, yeah, uh, okay, I'm gonna make the ray tracing ultra as well, because our FPS is good enough, okay, I always disable motion blur in every game, otherwise the game, yeah, we can increase the gamma, so you guys can see better, much better, okay. Oh, here we go. Our classic lighter. Just like we always have. F for flashlight. Hello there, humans. I heard the evil doggy sound, but anyway. We're doing this. Yep. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of you. L Okay Spudas So this game is quite popular with jump scares, so watch out guys. By the way, spider webs are slowing me down, so that's kinda dumb. Is this Minecraft or something like for real? Not realistic. Ooh. Hello spiders, hello. Oh, well, that was out of nowhere. Headshot. Yeah. yeah, this rifle is cool. It's like shotgun assault rifle or something. Quite like it. Shit. Yep, that was a jump scare. What the hell? Shit. I better run. Punch it in the face. There we go. 
Everything. Oh shit! Stabby, stabby, stab, stab. Come on. More doggies. Oh. Hello! Help me! Help me! Thank you, comrade. But I, I died in last slide. How? Anyway. Realism. Artyom. Like the thing that I don't like is like why are you making the bad ending then in previous game when the main character supposed to be dead but he's alive now. Okay. So I don't know if there's gonna be evil and good ending in this but I'm gonna try to get the good ending now. Hey, Tamir, do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. But he radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hold on, guys. I'm gonna increase the volume. Uh, sound... Master, yeah, here we go. Dolby Atmos. Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. Hi there. Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Okay. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Thank you, comrade. Lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. 
They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of helmets. So much team. time on the surface. Eh, well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> well, job or no job, if they keep doing that. Hello, comrades. Can you give me vodka? Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? <laughs> Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently. You must come back to force. But not for a long time. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right. You gave us a scare, Duke. brother. Artyom! How are you, friend? I Pardon see you're me, all right. Gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Alyosha, how you are the nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? You just stop crowding him. <sighs> Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, Previat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like kids. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! Yay, everyone loves me. Yay. <laughs> okay. And? More of nothing? Artyom! The only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> ah, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa <coughs> off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here but the monsters. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? You talk too loud, lady. Hello. Are you all right? Hell yeah, I am. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to support this walkthrough. <coughs> it looks amazing.
each other as much as they hate us. Oh, there's tons of them! <laughs> wow! Tons of them! Holy shit! Run, 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 run! Okay. That was easy. We sure gave them hell. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. How about we take the bridge to cross the railroad? It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam. Help me get out there. Shit. Come up now. Oh. I got you. Did you hear that, Hatyam? Something large, wrong. Now that's what I call a blizzard! Can't see a thing! Or here! Let's switch to radios! <sighs> what the? What the hell? Are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? A train! A damn train on the surface! Where? Yep, that was a train. Okay, let's pass. Oh! What's up, boys? Cheeky break your squad. Let's do this. Oh! oh! What? They're bad guys? Oh, I thought they were friendlies. God damn. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
Oh, lots of... Oh, shit. It's a nightmare. I hear a train! Help me! Need to get on that train. Here we go. Attention! The turntable is switching off. Look at this thing. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again, okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman! A human? How did you? Oh. oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Don't rush! Move around. It's quieter that way. 
<laughs> See that ladder? Stay close to the wall. Yermak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Can you do it quietly? Yes, I can. What's with that mumbling? Looks like we're going to Germany. You were right all along. Do you see? It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world. Oh my Let's God. go to America. Oh yeah, there's America. Because the war is still going on, and you behave like fucking kids. All the guards will be here soon. Damn! Don't shoot! Are you with him? With you? You have to run! Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Thank you. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All on Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope... Uh, hey guys, be careful. what's going on? Hey! Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. 
Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyom, incoming, two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Yeah, let's be sneaky then. I'm telling you, there was a noise from behind the gate. There's nobody out there, that's for sure. It's the outside gate, so it could only be watched. What if it's the attackers? Report your status. What the hell is this? Gotta tell me. Group B, continue patrolling the courtyard <laughs> in the generator room. Group A, check the wind turbine zone. Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? won't let us get away. We have to do something about them first. Oh, I have him pinned here!
Yeah, I'm just knocking out everyone to get good ending. I think that was it. I see him dead. All clear. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch the young. turntable mechanism on. Yeah, and please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Heads up! It's the enemy! More guards! Get them! Shut up! I can't believe this. Just 
Camping at shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot our Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line now. The watchers Sherlock. won't let No, me. I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities, dead. All of them, women, children. I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call, and you're misunderstanding. Well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The leaves no one behind. Alright, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed! 
foreigners and you? I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. So here we go, we're going to south. I'll see you in part two, guys. Peace out.